that sense of humor that he had. You've had a couple of days now to consider what happened on Tuesday of this week, just to pivot to another subject here. Uh, that being what happened in a federal courtroom outside of Washington, D.C., in Alexandria, what happened in New York uh, as well as Michael Cohen pled guilty uh, to some campaign finance violations, among other things. And I want to read a little bit from a statement you issued uh, after those two things happened. You said, this is not a witch hunt or fake news. These are real charges of criminal behavior. These are based on real facts, real evidence, and real testimony. And in the final analysis, all of this will lead to real articles of impeachment. We'll get to that last part here in, in just a sec, but yeah. let's start with what changed this week. What happened on Tuesday? How that changes the narrative surrounding uh, this president? Well, I think that it has been difficult for many Americans to keep up uh, with everything that's been going on in this investigation. Uh, there's so many parts to it, so many new names that are introduced uh, almost on a daily basis. But I think what happened have to focus people on some individuals that they had been hearing about and the charges uh, that were being uh, initiated. And absolutely, uh, when this president uh, was named as a co-conspirator, an unindicted conspirator in the hush money uh, information that had been circulating for so long, I think that changed uh, an awful lot. I think that uh, when uh, Cohen came forward and he was able uh, to certainly appear to be very truthful about his role and the role of this president, I think that people uh, began to understand it's something real about all of this. There's some truth being told here. And you have someone who's willing to come forward and admit guilt and also name the president of the United States of America. And then we heard about all of this immunity that's mm. being given. And this immunity, as everybody has identified, is not done lightly. This immunity is only given when there's clear evidence that the individuals have something to talk about, something to uh, share uh, that will be helpful in getting to the bottom of the guilty charges. I promised I would return to that last clause uh, in that excerpt from your statement. That is that this will lead to real articles uh, of impeachment. There's a lot of ink being spilled right now in papers across the country about whether Democrats should run on this issue, how much uh, they should be talking about impeachment as they campaign for office uh, ahead of the midterm elections. What's your perspective on that? How does what happened on Tuesday change that conversation within your party? Well, let me just say this. You know, I've been talking about impeachment for a long time. Uh, and uh, my party has not made this their central issue. They have insisted they need to talk about uh, the issues that they believe are central to the concern of the American people. They wanted to make sure uh, that the American people understand and have always understood uh, that Medicare is uh, very important, that mm. Medicaid is very important, uh, that uh, the Obamacare initiative that was signed into law and has been active in making sure uh, that every human being, every citizen, opportunity to have health care. These are the issues that they have been talking about. They wanted to keep at the American forefront. You know, I've been saying we can walk and chew gum at the same time. There's no reason why we shouldn't talk about those issues, but allow the American people to understand that we know something is going on and that we have seen this president act in ways uh, that it, precedent has, I mean, is such that we've never seen anybody act in the way that this president is acting, say the things that he said, tell the lies that he's been told. And uh, I think that I believe that the American people want us to at least acknowledge that we know something is going on here and that somebody is responsible uh, for putting this, uh, this nation in danger and aligning themselves with Putin and the oligarchs and the Kremlin. What is this all about? And I think we have a responsibility to talk about it and our committees of Congress should have had hearings about it. So I think we can do both. And I know that there are those who are concerned that somehow if you talk about impeachment, you're just going to, you know, fire up 
uh, the, the, the hardcore constituency of this president. Well, they're fired up already. Don't forget, this president said he could chew, he, no, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. he said he could stand on Fifth Avenue and shoot down Fifth Avenue and, I guess, shoot somebody and still get away with it. So all I'm saying is that I think that we have a responsibility to talk about what is going on, to explain what impeachment is, and to see how the discussion goes. I believe, of course, that this president can be impeached, will be impeached, and certainly has, you know, committed the kind of uh, crimes and, uh, you know, high crimes and misdemeanors that is identified by the Constitution as such that would qualify him for impeachment. Congressman, always great to speak.